Alright guys, so we're going to pop these two eggs here. One of them's going to be imprinted to me, one of them's going to be imprinted to Monkrai. And uh, yeah, we actually stole these off of Rain. Uh, I'll see if I can get a, a clip of it, but Monkrai stole them and it was quite clutch. Let's hope we get a breeding pair, that's what I'm really looking for. Uh, obviously mutations would be good as well. And there we go, that one popped, you can have that one. And I'll have this one. No twins, um, they didn't get any mutations, it doesn't look like. 300 melee, 10k HP at pop. That seems pretty decent, actually. Uh, male and male. Oh, we didn't get a breeding pair, unfortunately. Rip. Um, let's just check this. No mutations on that one. Uh, and no mutations on that one. Rip. Uh, we need to get some meat. Hold up. So we've just placed an indie cooker down, and I think it's irrigated. I'm just going to keep checking because I do hope it is. And yeah, it's filling up with water. Nice. This is going to be so much better than just using the fucking cooking pots because they are trash. And we've got broth and enlightenment cooking up. We should be able to uh, get like set six more, um, but we need to get some more crops, especially now because they are coming in very useful. Alright guys, and we are so close to that level 100. My god, has it been a long time. Um, We should be getting it soon. And oh 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 oh, we're on we're, we're close. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, these grinders and stuff have been, and we've got it. We've got it. Let's go. Oh my days. So we have finally reached level a hundred. Let's fucking put this in movement speed. Where's the heavy turret engram? There it is. Oh no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> there we go. Heavy turrets. Let's go. I actually forget what they take. 150 CP, 200 ele electronics, 400 metal. That's actually really cheap. We're gonna get all of our turrets converted to heavies, thank fuck. Best drop ever. Alright guys, so we found a 145 Bassy. I'm gonna try and get this. Um, I've never actually tamed one before, so I think I'm just gonna go in with my 700 melee Thyla, kill the Mantas, and try and use Mutton. But this could go either way. Right, so it's here, and um, yeah, that is the one for five. I'm gonna go in and try and kill everything around it. I've got a scuba on, and uh, I've bought loads of mutton, but some pre preserving salt. Right, let's try and kill everything. These, these are gonna do so much damage, so I need to kill these quickly. Oh my fucking god. Let's try to see get it to come around the front of me. And there's two sharks, okay. I can't let the bassy get away as well. Right. Um. Just make sure we kill these two. This Styler has decent melee, so we should be able to get this. Come on. Oh, there's more. I'm not moving forward, by the way, guys. That's the one thing I hate about Thylers in the war. They always go forward for no fucking reason. Right, let's do... Fish. And then let's drop all. Right, okay. Now, where's the bassy? Okay, it's down there. Oh, fuck me. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, well, no, I thought it would be very hard. <laughs> um, right. Just to check, that is the one for five? Yep. So I'm going to dismount. Where's the passive? Okay, that's going to go up there. Let's put the mutton in our last slot. Head over to it, and then we should be able to feed it. Right, okay, that did 7%. I think that worked. Just gonna have to keep an eye on it before it um, wants its next feeding. I've heard that um, the, the second feeding takes so much time, but I could be wrong. Right, we're gonna go in again. I'm gonna whistle stop on the Thyla, and we're gonna see if it's... I've waited a long time. Can we feed it again? It's not even hungry. Wow. Hasn't lost taming effects from this, but I... Yeah, we, we are going to have enough mountain for this, which is good. I don't think it aggro's on anything. I could be wrong, though. Let's get on our phyla here. It's just chilling down there, and that's fine by me. Um, one thing that may be an issue, though, is stam. So if my phyla runs out of stamina, then it could be bad. What is it on now? Okay. Um, I, we, it should be good for a decent amount of time. Uh, I just hope that no nasties come around while, uh, while we're giving this to Tame. 
We do have a decent saddle, I'm pretty sure, because we found out found one out of one of the, uh, the drops. So, uh, yeah, we should be good. Let's just wait for this guy to uh, be hungry again. Come on. It's not hungry. Man, it takes ages for the second feeding. I've been sitting here for, like, five minutes. <laughs> Jesus. And we can feed it again, I think. I think it's going to pick up speed now, because I think the second feeding is, like, the most hard one. Hopefully it does. Oh, yeah. It's super fast now. We should be able to get it again really quickly. I'm going to whistle follow. Yeah, my god, is it fast. It's heading out to sea again, though, which is the bad thing. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough mutton for this. Bye, look, come here. Let's get some more mutton out of you. And we can feed it again. Nice. I just need to be careful because there was a megalodon around here. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. If we can just stay down here, then that, uh, that'd be sound. Feed it again. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough mutton. I pray that we will. Um... This guy is going super fast now. Oh my god, my father scared me. I thought it was a megalodon. <laughs> right. Um, another one. There we go. Sweet. One thing is, though, I think you can't change your um, the food that you, type of food that you give it. And the, the uh, it being night is really annoying for me because I cannot see shit. Um, and I doubt you guys can as well. There we go. It's more than half done now. Follow where you at. We need to get some more mutton out of you. Um, right, we should have enough. I pray that we will. It's a 150 sh uh, sheep that we killed as well to get this. So, that was good. So we found a good one. If it just wants to keep chilling, then I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, I pray that no megalodon or anything is going to come and attack me. Yeah, it's super fast now. You just have to wait wait out the first feeding, and then it goes fucking super saiyan. Um, oh god. Come on. This guy. 98%. Oh, it, it, oh no, it didn't. And we've tamed a bass scene. Right, let's get out of here, because I, I'm pretty sure everything and then mum follows you now. Um, come on, get on the filer. Right, let's get out of here. Um, I want to see what it came out with, but there's a Megalodon here, and that's going to really piss me off. 216, wow. Nice. Um, yeah, let's try and get back to base with this. Because, yeah, shit's going to get real. And we've got this guy back to base near the raft. Oh, that Megalodon's going to fuck shit up, isn't he? Why? Of course, now. Oh, he's got a level as well. Um... I think bassies are, are the best thing to go underwater with because they don't get shocked by the. Uh, I think it's the eels don't do anything. The tusos can't grab you, uh, and then the like jellyfish can't stun you on, when, if you're on a bassie. I'm pretty sure. Um, right, let's check his stats. Fourteen thousand health. Uh, one thousand one hundred oxygen. Melee's pretty shit to be fair. What's that? Oil. Ah. Oh god. <laughs> this is why we sh should have kept our scuba on. Um, the health seems decent. Um, okay, yeah, I think we're going to be mainly upgrading melee. Wait, hold on. If you press right click, it makes a fucking rainbow. Um, I'm in love with this team already. What the fuck? Hang on. It splashes around and makes a fucking rainbow. Hang on. How long can we do it? If we hold it. This thing is awesome. Bassy, you are the real MVP, alright? Good job. And there's a guy right here. I'm feeling about scaring him. 
you know what? Who is that? Fat boys and fat boys. Right, come here then. <laughs> We're gonna make a rainbow right on their asses. Hey guys, did you appreciate my rainbow? <laughs> my god, this thing is destruction. It just took out a squad of mantas. And I'm not even sure how much health it lost. Hang on, let's kill this megalodon and then we'll check. Right, and dealing with that whole squad. Oh my god, <laughs> this thing is over fucking powered. Right, so apparently when you're at the surface, your health goes up like no tomorrow. Um, I think that may be true. Fuck me, this is going up so fast. It's already got 21,000 health just from a few levels. Um, I may or may not have fallen in love with the Bassy. Right, now, I guess we'll check if the, um, if they don't get stunned by the, uh, the jellyfish. And I'm pretty confident they don't. They don't! That's well cool! Exactly, fuck you, bitch. You ain't got nothing on this. My god. This is gonna be so good for farming biotoxin, man. We've got two megalodons joining the party as well, but say, hello, say, uh, say goodbye to those, them lot. Fucking hell, this bassy is so good. Oh god, we got loads more. Um, swarm of eels detected. I don't think they can affect me on this, which is cool. Exactly, bitches! And what? What the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> oh my god, this fucking bathy is amazing! And what? And what? The fuck are you gonna do to me? Oh my god. This is fun as fuck. <laughs> oh my days! We literally just destroyed a whole swarm of eels. Like, you think you can touch me? If you force feed it while it's fucking up top of the ocean, it goes up so fast. Like, look at that. It's going up a hundred, like, every two seconds. This is mental. Oh, what's going on here, then? Oh, hello, jellyfish. Too bad you can't fucking shock me. These things are so fucking cool. Alright, guys. So we found a 174 Tech Stego, and it's got uh, 4,160 HP, which is 27 points. So this guy is fairly decent. We're gonna knock him out. Um, we've got a couple of tranks here, and we are... should we use this pen? I mean, it's Rain's pen. I don't think we can get it out after, but now nah, we'll just try and knock it out this way. Um, we'll obviously put some spikes around it. I was just doing a quick CP run, um, and we're gonna try and get these shots in the head. We will have to put some spikes around this guy. Um, oh, he's out already. Holy shit, that took nothing. Right, what's the stats? 4160, 260 melee. Okay, I'm going to look, look this up. That stamina looks high as well. All right, guys. So that is going to be the fourth episode of The Gentleman's Arc Season 2. And I'm just having so much fun on here. I know I say it every episode. But my god, you guys need to join, on, join in on the server. Um... Apply in Discord, that'll be in the description. And oh my god, it is so fun. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the, um, the sneaky uh, sneaky little air grab that we got off Rain. Uh, sorry, Rain, you're probably watching this. <laughs> and the Bassy Tame was pretty decent as well. As of now, it actually has, like, um, 35k HP. It's pretty mental. We also have a couple of raids coming up in the, the next video. And also a decent bit of ground PvP with a rain and another third party. -er. And I managed to kill them both, so it was pre uh, pre fairly decent. Uh, yeah, in that raid we got a fairly de uh, decent score with a bunch of BPs. So uh, yeah, look forward to the next episode, guys. Uh, that is it from me. Uh, I've been Zavai. You guys have been awesome. I never say that, but... <laughs> um, yeah. Obviously, like and subscribe if you want to be a G. And uh, obviously, if you turn on that bell, then obviously it will... I don't know what I'm saying. Obviously, this is the shittest outro ever. Um, but yeah, it will help me a lot if you do turn the bell on. As always, likes and comments are very much appreciated. I love feedback. I'm always uh, looking on how to do better. And uh, yeah, that's it from me, guys. Have a good one.